Hey guys, hey, hey, hello, hello, it's Steve Pompey Returns here, uh, welcoming you to another episode of Resident Evil Code One Against LP. Uh, hi guys, if you've just tuned in, or if you've um, uh, if you've uh, clicked on watch or whatever, and I'm just waiting my way back to the residency. So, pretty much um, straight up from the last episode, if you if you saw it, um, that's where I'm going to be. So we've got the key. And um, yeah, this might be. I'm hoping it's not going to be, but I've got a feeling it's going to be 15 or so minutes of just terrible stuff. Terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. I, I hope I'm wrong. But anyway, this is the one we have to be. So, well, the door we have to go in because we've got the key. Um, I don't need the gold key anymore, so that's gone. Oh, we could have melted it down, sold it. Anyway, so. This is the um, this is what we had to use the gold key for for this room, and it is the puzzle. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Right. Okay. So this is a this for me. I think is probably the hardest puzzle in the whole of the of the game. I remember the last time I did this, I ended up having to use a guide because I just couldn't. I couldn't get it. I I think you have to do it. I think you have to. You have to do it. There's no way out of it. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica, as founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the, go that was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise Umbrella Inc. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this vase continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon, the butler for the Ashford family. You follow the memo to new master, right? So, same child seen on the projector film. There is a message below on the picture. Trace the Ashford legacy, reveal the true master. There is a button below. No, thank you. Right. Okay. Pure white candlestick. Someone's written on the face. In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. So basically, you have to go around and press the buttons in the order of the family succession but I I just struggled for it for some reason it sounds quite simple and I guess, I guess most people are banging their heads thinking it's it's bloody easy Pompey it is easy well well it's not for me so um, yeah right okay all I know is that the Veronica was the first one and I'm guessing that's the only lady that's on here because it looks like it is so that's that's pretty simple but it's when you get into the guys because they all they all the bloody same and they all got freaking teacups. So I don't bloody turn them. Right, so that then I've got a because it doesn't give a name either. Right. Okay. So basically, we've got the the file we got is is what's going to help you to solve this puzzle. Uh, well, I'd hope anyway. So, message to this memo to new master. So I'll press the first one already, which is which is the Veronica. Right, I'll ignore that bit. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with a similar teacups. So it was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. So they're both men. Stanley is the second one. Thomas is the third one. Stanley and Thomas. But problem is, I can't. I don't know who Stanley and Thomas are. They both have cups, and he hasn't got a cup, so that's no good. And he's holding twins. I don't think that's him. We need to find it Stanley and Thomas, and he's got a vase, so that's not any good. And he's got a cup, so he he's one of the guys. He's 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 one of them. Is it this guy? No, it's not. Uh, and th this guy's got a cup as well, actually. Yeah, so that these two are the ones that have got cups. Um, 
him and the other guy, but I don't know who comes first, so I guess it's just a matter of a try and error, I guess. So, I mean, who looks older, honestly? With red haired twins. With red haired twins. Right, red haired twins. Who's red haired? He ain't. Red haired twin is him. He's a red haired. And the only other red haired is him. This guy. So, it's him next. Because he's holding two babies. Right, so that's fine. Okay. That's the second one. I do apologise. This is going to be the most boring episode of my OLP. I'm just... Uh, it, I guess it's part of the game, but seriously. Right. That's the second one, anyway. I think. Second and third Tom Master Stanley and his son Thomas. Oh! Stanley and his son Thomas. So... His son is the red-haired boy that we can see in the picture, and the only other red-haired boy who's the red-haired guy with a with a teacup is him. So it must be him next. All right. Okay. So let's let's click him. Right. So that's the first three, I think. Message to master. Okay. Yeah. It's something. Blah 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 blah. Alright, uh, the position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas, who's the last guy, wasn't it? Yes. To his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to... Sir Arthur is the other, the other red-haired boy, isn't it? Isn't it, mate? It is, I think. Right, okay, we'll check the other red-haired guy, because he's the only other red-haired on it. He's got a plate, though. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter, I don't know. Uh, okay. Right, plates. Yeah, Sir Thomas, and then his bro twin brother Sir Arthur was the other redhead guy, and then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. So who the frick is Sir Edward? It was also Sir Edward that established a large chemical enterprise in Bonnet Inc. However, Sir Edward passed away, and your father Sir Alexander succeeded the position, and the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. Right, so we've got two more to press. Sir Edward and Sir Alexander and the boy. The boy is obviously Alfred. Um, the, you know, the, the weirdo. Whatever. So it's either between him and his vase. Or... Alfred's dad, who is this guy, probably. Most likely. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the white-haired guy, then I'm going to go with that guy. That's one of my guesses. So I'll go with this one. Okay, that one. And then I'll go with this guy. This is this is um Yeah, this is the, the weirdo's dad. Right, and then it actually ends up being the weirdo himself, which is this one. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna go for yes. I think it works! I think I did it! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, serious. I've got an earthenware vase for me trouble. It's a portrait of a young woman. A full pot is also illustrated. So that is, that's basically Alexander. Um, uh, Alexander, isn't it? Alexander, whatever her name is. Um, right. Right, so let's come. Uh, oh God, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I've just threw myself there actually because I didn't think I was actually going to do that one in, in, uh, well, in less than ten minutes actually because that one f really bothered me last time I played this game. I just didn't, couldn't get it, run my head around it. Yeah, that's really good. All right, anyway, it's obvious you just check inside it, see something inside, take it, bosh, and we've got a queen's and object was placed in the vase. So that's that's good. Let's have a look at this. Queen out that contains a red ruby. Right. Now I uh, I think we've got to go back to the room where the army memorabilia is, where Steve 
Steve um, tried to nick the Lugas. Or, uh, well, we had to save Steve anyway. I think we've got to go back in that room. Because there's a there was a slot, I think, to put an ant or something. I can't 100% remember if that's, if that's right. But anyway, I'm just glad that I got got that uh, got that bloody puzzle out of the way. Because that was the one that bothered me the most. I don't think any other puzzle in this game bothered me as much as that one did. So if that's the case, then yeah, this game should be a breeze as far as puzzles are, con are concerned. Alright, so let's go up the stairs. Yeah, so I got chuffed about that actually. It's nice to get one over on the old machine, and I'm going the wrong way, you know. Yes, I am. I wonder how many times I've said that in this LP, going the wrong way. That would be my slogan for this one, wouldn't it? Going the wrong way. Moving along. Right. Do, do, do. Okay, so I think this is the room we got to be in. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so now I uh, am stuck. Great. Uh, oh, what have you got to use that bloody ant for? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to wander around and find some new locations. Because, um, I can't honestly remember where I've seen a uh, place to put that, that ant statue in. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, God. Okay, this is going to be pleasant. Right, okay, sorry guys, I'm going to call it an episode, I think, on this one, and I'll see you guys next time, so I hope you have enjoyed this one. I'm um, pretty good that I, pretty, felt, felt pretty good that I uh, actually got rid of that puzzle, because I was honestly thought I was going to be stuck on that for at least an episode or two, so, anyway, that's done, I'll see you guys next time, uh, ciao boys, bye bye.